hello and welcome back to this very sad news flash episode of Artisan Electrics. Unfortunately, I have some bad news to break to you and I thought that I owed it to you guys to tell you what's going on because it's going to affect a lot of people, including a lot of you, our dear viewers, whether you're our customers or fellow installers. Unfortunately, I have to announce that Anderson EV have gone into administration. It was recently shared with me via a post on the Sky News website that Anderson EV, which trades under a company called Muller EV, has gone bust and are basically looking for solutions. That means that 40 employees that they had have all been told that they have to go elsewhere and find another job. And it's just quite sad, really. For me, Anderson is a product that I love and we've recommended it to our customers so many times. In fact, right here in the office, I've got one ready to install for one of our dear customers. So now I'm wondering a few things. You guys might be wondering a few things too. So I thought I owed it to you guys just to make this video and just talk through the options because this is new for us as an industry. This is the first of the fairly large EV startups to have gone into administration and it raises a lot of questions. So you might be wondering if you've got an Anderson charging point at your house, what will happen to it? Will it still work after the company have disappeared or will there be issues? You might be wondering as an installer, I've got a few Andersons sitting around at the office waiting to install. Should I still go ahead and install them or not? Will they be worth more now or will they be worth less? now that the company's gone into administration. And you might be wondering as well, well, what alternatives have I got to offer to my customers? Because you may have seen in a video that I made previously on the channel where I said that this is one of the most beautiful charging points that are out there on the market. And it's for that reason that we had Anderson as our go-to for beautiful bespoke installations when aesthetics were absolutely key because you had such a beautiful finish, especially with the wood finishes and the different colors. It was a great product for us to be able to offer to certain customers where aesthetics were one of the number one aspects to consider when it came to installing an EV charging point. If you're a customer and you've got one on the wall, will it continue working? Well, I can assure you that it will continue to work for sure. You'll still be able to charge your car. The question really is, will the app side of things continue to work? And I guess that is a little bit of an unknown and we'll have to wait and see. Fortunately, most vehicles have the option to schedule a charge within the vehicle anyway, so it shouldn't affect you too much. And I have a feeling that somebody will probably come along and buy the debt of Anderson and resurrect the company in one form or another, or kind of fold it in to another larger company, potentially. But only time will tell on that, and there are a lot of questions that we simply can't answer. If you're an installer like us, and you've got one sitting in the office waiting to install, you might be thinking, what should I do now? Should I fit it anyway? Should I just ask the customer and see what they want to do? or should I just put a hold on the installation at the moment? And that is something that only you can decide as an installer. For us personally, we've got a few jobs that we are quoting for where Andersons were gonna be fitted. We're gonna be looking for an alternative option now for installs that we've got lined up. Actually, we don't have any at the moment, so that's good. The one that we've got here at the office we were actually using as a training rig, so we will be figuring out what to do with that, and that will maybe become a museum piece now. Maybe we'll hold on to it and it'll be worth something in uh, 10 or 15 years' time. But if I did have installs booked in, what would I do? Well, I'd probably have a frank conversation with a customer and say, just to let you know, Anderson have gone into administration. What that means is there are a few unknowns now about the app, whether it will continue to work or not. And so you can leave it to the customer to make the choice of whether they proceed with having an Anderson installed or whether they decide to go with something else. The problem is if you've bought the Anderson already, I think you're gonna probably struggle to get a refund. So that might cause a challenge for a few installers, especially larger installers who've got loads lined up and they've got maybe quite a lot on the shelf in their stock. That could prove to be an issue. Now it's such a shame because Anderson was a good company. I actually invested some of my own hard-earned cash in the company 
early doors when they were starting up and they did a seed funding round, I stuck 500 quid into Anderson as an investment to help them grow in the hope that my investment would be worth something uh, many years down the line. And unfortunately, it seems like that money is probably going to have evaporated now. Let me know in the comments if you guys, any, any of you guys did the same. The other thing you might be wondering as installers is, well, what are, all, uh, what are our alternatives now? What other options do we have when aesthetics are key? There is a really nice looking charging point on the market that we are going to be reviewing in due course because I have a feeling it might be a good alternative. So we'll be looking at that and we'll keep you guys up to date on any great new products that we discover along the way. Maybe there'll be a new charging point heading to my wall, my Swiss cheese wall sometime soon. But I guess on the scale of a bigger picture, this raises a question for us as installers as to what do we do when it comes to specking products from startup companies? Now you might think, well, who's going to be next, you know, because the reason that Anderson have gone into administration, according to Sky News, is basically it's all part of this macroeconomic climate that's going on, the vehicle situation with lots of delays on vehicle deliveries. Uh, it has caused a slow in the uptake of electric vehicle charging points because customers are thinking, well, I'm, my vehicle, I'm being told, is not going to be delivered for nine months, 12 months, 18 months. So why would I pay now to have a charging point that's going to be sitting on my wall not being used? So they're waiting. And unfortunately, those delays have caused a lack of income for certain manufacturers like Anderson, which has then unfortunately caused their sales to drop and cause them to go into administration. Now my heart goes out to Anderson employees who have recently found out that basically they're losing their jobs. And I wanna to say to any of you Anderson installers out there, because I know that they do have an installer network, get in touch with us because we have a lot of installs that we are getting done and we are hiring at the moment. So there might be a job for at least one of you guys at Artisan Electrics. But for everyone else, well, there is a massive need for your skills in the industry in other places. So I'm sure that all those who are losing their jobs very sadly from Anderson, I don't think they'll have too much of a problem finding jobs elsewhere, but it is still no doubt gonna be a stressful time for them. I just wanted to do this little news flash update for you guys, just to let you know, whether you're one of our customers or whether you are an installer who has found out about Anderson through our channel or through other means, I thought you'd probably like to hear what's going on. And you, if you are a customer who's a little bit concerned, maybe we fit in an Anderson for you, just get in touch and we can talk you through uh, things if there are any issues. But I think for the meantime, everything will work fine. And then maybe in a few months, we'll know a bit more about whether the app connectivity is gonna work and stuff like that, and what the warranty situation will be like going forward. Usually they have insurance that covers warranty claims going forward anyway. So I think all the warranties will still be valid. And to be fair, Anderson are one of the brands that we've had the least problems with in terms of technical issues. Like we've not had any callbacks on any Anderson units that we fitted. So I think they're pretty, pretty bulletproof and they should last a long time. So you don't need to worry about that. But anyway, I hope this video has been of benefit to you, informative in some way. Um, and if you think that somebody else will benefit from watching this, why not share it out with them too? It's kind of still a fairly new industry, this whole EV thing, you know, and this was bound to happen at some point, but it's taken me a little bit by shock and no doubt it will to other people in the industry too. So I just wanted to share my thoughts with you. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. And if you don't follow us on this channel yet, well, why not like and subscribe because we do post regular videos here all about electric vehicle charging, renewables, technology and the life of an electrician. So we'd love you to join us on our journey. But on a sad note on this video, I don't like posting videos like this, but I just thought it was important to get it out there. So I hope you guys appreciate that and take care and have a great day.